Hey guys, welcome back to Train Sim World 5. Today we're going to be on the Antelope Line. Uh, we're going to be driving from LA Union to Burbank, so let's get started here. Uh, let's just take a look at this train. This is uh, one of the Metrolink trains. Honestly, I do not remember buying this DLC. Um, I'm going to have to probably go back and see if I actually did. <laughs> I mean, obviously I did, but the thing is, I don't remember buying it, and I don't remember if I did any content on this, so uh, I'm going to have to go back in my channel and see if I did any. So let's uh, put those on dim. Okay, we're loading up the passengers. Let's make sure... Okay, brake mode is in passenger. Nice, we are all ready to go. Beautiful train. This is a beautiful, uh, beautiful line. There's some interesting scenarios on this. Um, I won't be able to do all of them in a video because some of them are quite long. Uh, one interesting one that I did was you had to transport a, uh, a criminal and uh, the police. I was a little disappointed with it. I mean, it was it was kind of fun, uh, but. It just, I don't know. You didn't see the criminal, you didn't see any police escort or anything like that. I think it would have been cool. Okay, so let's get this baby rolling. So we're gonna put the master up to two, and then we're gonna take the brake off. And we should start rolling. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's do that. That's a. Uh, the horn a couple times. We will leave the bell on for now. Uh, 12 miles an hour. So let's just coast out of here. We don't want to go too fast. Have a nice shot leaving here. God, I love this game. I really do. That's a, uh, that's a quite long stationer isn't it look at that that looks so good god like i said I, I every time i get in this game it just wows me and i'm like why don't i play this game more all right let's check our speed okay we're still going 12 we're still good <clears throat> so i would like to say at some point um I'd like to try this without the HUD, but the fact of the matter is I have no idea how you would do the, uh, the signals and stuff like that. I know there's a way that you can tell by looking at the signals to see what's coming up, um, but man, that's something that you would really need to learn. Okay, so let's go back to idle. We don't want to speed too much here. We got... A 25 mile an hour mark coming up soon, I think. Let's see, it always confuses me because uh, some of the speed is on the top, some is on the bottom. I don't quite know why. I thought the speed that was on the top was possibly for a different track. But then when I was doing some routes, uh, my speed changed. So I'm not really sure why. It's different like that. We will find out soon though if that changes to 25 because we just passed it. Come on. Hmm. So the train isn't that long. Okay, yep, now we're up to 25. All right, let's take that bell off now. Where is it? There we go. Let's start getting this baby up to speed here. Yeah, I mean, in the way of simulators, this is absolutely just top notch for me. Okay, let's slow it down a little bit. 
I do like the uh, the minimalized HUD. Uh, everything's easy to see. We could probably slow down a little bit, but we got a 30 mile an hour zone coming up soon, and then it's going to go up to 50, so we should be good. So yeah, man, I, I honestly don't remember buying this. I'm going to have to go back in my YouTube channel and see if I did a video <laughs> on this line, because usually when I get a new DLC, I'll do at least one video on it. And yeah, I do not remember purchasing this one at all, but I'm glad I have it because it's really enjoyable. And I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I mean, look at that. The train is cool. You know, it is another American line. Yeah, very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So are you guys playing Train Sim World 5? Um, are you skipping it? Did you get the free upgrade? Because that free upgrade is good for 30 days. It is good until October 17th. So if you have um, any version of the game, you are free to get that and it will upgrade your existing game to Train Sim World 5. If you don't already have Train Sim World, then you can also get the, uh, the free starter kit and you can kind of just get your feet wet and see what the game's about. You will get the training center. Um, you won't get any routes or anything like that, um, so, you know, you can't drive like a, a route like this, but you will be able to drive trains, you will be able to be in the, uh, the training center, and just get a feel for it. I mean, it's free, so if you're at all on the fence of getting this game, uh, now is your chance to at least try it out. Nothing wrong with that, I'd say. And you know, <clears throat> I will say from personal experience, it took me a long time to pull the trigger and buy uh, a Train Sim World. The first Train Sim World I bought was uh, Train Sim World 2. And I bought it because it was on sale. It, it was uh, pretty cheap. So I decided, what the hell, I'll, I'll try it. Uh, I think myself, like many, <laughs> uh, was probably like, you know, it's a train. You're not steering it. You're on a track. I don't really know what the appeal is I don't know you know <laughs> how interesting the game could be but uh, then when I got it and I got into the freight stuff and just having to know how to use all the different brakes and just you know try not to have a runaway train especially when you're going down a steep grade I couldn't believe the challenge that was there I never dreamed it was that challenging to uh actually drive a train or engineer a train or whatever you want to say okay does this this has a setup okay so let's just slow it down a little bit using the engine brake driven 100 miles nice so these dynamic brakes are very important to uh, master in this game because the dynamic brake is what you're going to use when you're going down those steep grades and you don't want to run away train. I was actually watching uh, a YouTuber that that I enjoy. Uh, he's a he's a younger guy, younger than me, I should say. I mean, he's not you know like a kid, <laughs> but uh, I was watching him play. And he was in that situation, and he just had, like, all the brakes on. He was just turning all the brakes on. And I was just sitting back kind of laughing, thinking that all you really need is that dynamic brake. If you know how to do it, uh, that is all you need. And uh, it works It works very well. I had to use the, the dynamic brake all through that scenario where I was transporting that, that felon. It was uh, a lot of downhill, <laughs> a lot of downhill stuff. Now, I should say, so far, I could be wrong. I haven't played uh, every every line yet, <clears throat> every route, but in the American DLCs anyway, I believe this is the only passenger train that has a dynamic brake. I could be wrong on that. There could be another one. Um, maybe the train in the Peninsula Corridor has a dynamic brake? I'm not, I'm not sure on that. Um... 
oddly enough, that's a California route, and that didn't do it for me. I didn't like the train that was in it. Uh, but this California route, I, I'm enjoying this a lot. Like, this train is really fun to drive. Drive. Drive, engineer, uh, I'm not sure what you call it. I want to say, I don't know, they call it an engineer, but I don't know if you drive a train or not. But uh, we'll, we'll say drive for for now because I don't know. <laughs> I'm not I'm not an engineer. You know, I know I like trains. I like the idea of trains. You know, but I'm not greatly knowledgeable in them. Look at that though, that looks so cool. Okay, we can speed it up a little more here. What does this go to? Eight? Okay, eight is the uh, the max. So we'll put it on seven because we don't want to go crazy here. Although it doesn't seem like we'll pick up speed too much, so we will we will max her out here. I gotta say, this here I wish this was functional more. Yeah, you can. Hit the buttons all you want, nothing happens. All right. <clears throat> uh oh. Oops. <laughs> that was my stop. All right, so I think we can <laughs> safely try this again. I am paying attention. I am focused. I am, I am in the zone. <laughs> we're uh, we're going to get this done this time. Uh, we're already starting to slow down a little bit, but I think we can we can speed up somewhat here. We could probably keep it at fifty until we hit the mile mark. We don't want to be going too fast. It's such a balance with this game. It's such a balance of braking and accelerating and knowing when to use what brake. <laughs> now what I will say is this train, it seems to slow down pretty well um, obviously not if I'm going full bore and I had to stop but uh, it, it doesn't uh, it's not too difficult to slow the train down which is a good thing most passenger trains seem to slow down pretty good it's the freight trains that are really difficult uh, with that being said though the ICE trains the, the high-speed trains they can be tricky to slow down Okay, let's put on minimum application. Okay, I want to slow this down a little faster. There we go. I think we're doing fine. Yeah, a little, a little more here. I think we're pretty good. 
release the brake. Um, it seems like once you get to 10 miles an hour, uh, that's when you start dropping rapidly. So we'll do minimum application, and I'm off. Yeah, let's just put on suppression, and I think we should be good. Oh, and we're early. How do you like that? Okay, I love doing this here. I love seeing everybody get on the train. Or not. <laughs> uh, anybody? Anybody getting on the train? Anybody getting off the train? No? Oh, well, that's boring. Look at this dude with his backpack. Huh. Well, that's boring. No path here. Wait until 10.06. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, we were here pretty early. We are almost ready to go. We got about 10 seconds left before we can close these doors and make our way down the tracks here. It's been a while since I've uh, <laughs> I've missed an objective like that. Okay, objective complete. Burbank Downtown Track 2. Okay, so again, let's bring the power up a little bit there we go take the brake off and we are good to go Lovely shot of the train departing there. Oh, it is 79 miles an hour right, right out of the station. So we can get this baby right up to speed here. You know, I want to just toot the horn to that guy. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing, but something that I, I tend to do so you know uh, I'm almost thinking uh, well no actually because there's there's nothing that tells you the speed limit so you kind of need the HUD I do anyway I mean I'm sure there's ways to tell what the speed limit is but uh, yeah I don't know Okay, 3.9 miles, so we need to pay attention here. Let's just stick our head out the window here, take a look around at that. Hmm, that looks like a, uh, a bus garage, but it doesn't look like a bus garage, if that makes sense. Okay, we need to slow it down because we're going to be going down a grade here. Not much of a grade, but it might be enough for us to pick up some speed. Maybe not. You know, is California like this? Is it this uh, <laughs> up and down? I had no idea. I've never been to California. If I'm being 100% honest, I don't have any interest in ever going to California. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I enjoy, I enjoy it in the game though. We'll, uh, we'll put it that way, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna slow it down. We don't want to be picking up speed when we're going to speed limit. You know, the funny thing about this game is that, again, right, right there, driving under speed limit. I'm driving the exact speed limit. I haven't been under the speed limit yet. I, I am now. And it still tells me I'm driving under the speed limit. How is the speed limit 
under the speed limit. I have no idea. I guess it's just one of the quirks of this game, perhaps. Also, I uh, I did what they said. They they claimed to update the game. And they said that you can get your your profile back. Uh, I I couldn't do it. You can't log out of your profile within the game. Um, you can't switch your profile. You can create a new one, but that's about it. So I'm just I'm stuck. I'm stuck at the beginning again. It is what it is. I will say these dovetail games. I on one hand appreciate. Okay, let's slow down because we got a red light coming up. So yeah, we're gonna start slowing down here. Um, I appreciate them giving us like a a free upgrade. Uh, I appreciate them, you know, <laughs> trying their best. But uh, they, they need to really do better. They, they need to make the upgrading easier. I think we have to stop before that light anyway. Yeah, we do. Um, they need to make getting your DLCs a lot easier. Because, I'm not going to lie, getting the DLCs was a, a right pain in the behind. <laughs> you really have to go through a lot. To get the DLCs back. And the fact that you lose your game progress just sucks. It really does. And it's not. Like, I I'm fine with redoing routes, but I mean, the fact that you have to restart from the beginning again with your tutorials and stuff. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Let's take that off. We can. I just slowed on too much here. Oh, maybe we do. Let's put that back on. See here. Yeah, you know, let's slow it down. Yep, come on, let's slow her down. Perfect. We're a little late. We're a couple seconds late, but that's all right. So as long as the, the rear of the train isn't passed, uh, where it tells you to stop, you're good. But I don't want the last car <laughs> being over it. You know, so that's why I like to stop it right on the money. That was it? Wow, that was shocking. I thought I had like two more stops. Uh, okay, so we got the gold medal of that. <laughs> uh, man, it, time really flies when you're having fun, and I, I really enjoyed that. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Um, that's where we're going to end the video, guys, today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and we will see you next time.